Today's video is going to be my bookshelf tour. So, you guys already see have seen my unread bookshelf tour, but I also want to do the exact same thing with my red shelf. I want to see where it's starting at now, since it's still the beginning of the year. I've only added three books since the year has started that I've read, and at the end of the year, I'll see which books that I've actually read make it onto my shelf and how I change it, how I organize it. I change my mind a lot so it, it'll be kind of fun to see like you know if I keep the same system that I have now which kind of sort of makes sense in some weird way in my head I mean it's not even that difficult it's just I don't know I like how it is now so I'm gonna see if it changes later on and also as I keep reading a lot of those shelves on my red shelf literally the red color shelf are going to have to be used instead of for TBR for red books so confusing All right, and I'm going to do it the exact same way that I did my TBR shelf super excited I will tell you the amount of books I have at the end of the video because I have gotten rid of some so that's changed my number I think I've gotten rid of about like 25 in total to be completely honest because I gave quite a few away to my friend but then I had already gotten rid of some before that were just like no I need to you know they need to go I'm going to show you an overview of my bookshelf and how I organize it and stuff and then I'm going to show you the books in my hands like I did the last time so let's go so here is an overview of my red shelf it's not a whole lot different from the last time I did a tour I have of course like I said gotten rid of books and I've rearranged some of them now how I have these organized I have children's book right here. I've had these three since I was like five years old. This one's probably a little older. I think I got this when I was like two or three. These I got when I was five and that I got for my nephew but he didn't want it so I was like F it I'll keep it. Then I have honestly like there's no real system here when it comes to like these types of books. I like dystopian. This is like a weird paranormal. This is you know like paranormal and whatnot. How I have this worked is all my paranormal books are pretty much all of these and you know occasionally some dystopians pop out. That's how that works. And then here though I have my more like dramatic like con not con these are like very depressing contemporary reads or sad things but these are all you know one way or another contemporary or lovey dovey reads. That's how I have that worked out. Here I have my like mystery books for young adults or like spooky whatever they're supposed to be and then I do have you know all my LJ Smith books together my you know Divergent series is up there these uh, are my fa this is my favorite shelf right here pretty much you know I don't have a whole lot of books there because these are like my absolute favorites. I do still need some rearranging to do, but I don't want to separate the host from my Twilight series. I do like to keep authors, like, if the author has more than one book, they're all going to be together. And as much as I love Twilight, they're not my absolute favorite, and they technically don't belong here. But I love the host, and I just want to keep the books together. Maybe eventually I'll get over that, but at the moment I haven't, so... That's how I work that out, but the rest are all my absolute like favorites, especially City of Lost Souls and this right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's coming soon. Coming very soon. I'm almost done with it. I actually have it up there just because it's supposed to be there, but I'm not quite finished with it yet. But um, oh, so good. And then down here, these are all of my adult books. Now you did see up ahead on the very top shelf I had some Nicholas Sparks, but that's okay. One of them is like a young adult anyway. But these are all of my adult books, whether they're mystery, you know, I got some like, you know, over there and uh, whatnot. But all these are adult novels. Yep, yep, yep. And then on the bottom, I have like, I love the series. I really like the series too. But these are books that I'm not going to get rid of. They're not my favorite, but I'm not going to get rid of them regardless of anything. So, and then all my mass paperbacks and, you know, books like this stuff go there. Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein, Cinderella, adapted from the film by 
Zoe Lewis, illustrated by Robin Cuddy. Pocahontas, illustrated classic edition, adapted from the film by Gina Ingoglia, and illustrated by Frain Matteau. The Random House Book of Bedtime Stories, illustrated by Jane Dyer. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry, which contains The Giver, Gathering Blue, The Messenger, and Sun. I have yet to read Sun. The bind-up of the first three books in the Sweep series, which contains Book of Shadows, The Coven, and Blood Witch. Book number four, Dark Magic. Book number five, Awakening. Book number six, Spellbound. Book number seven, The Calling. And book eight, The Changeling, all by Kate Tiernan. Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, Dark Flame, Night Star, all part of the Immortal series by Allison Noel. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. Life After Genius by M. Ann Jacoby. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle with Laurie and Wayne Earle. Introduction by John Green. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The Vault in Our Stars by John Green. Looking for Alaska by John Green. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Hello Goodbye by Emily Chenoweth. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. And Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and for a Divergent Collection, all by Veronica Roth. The Vampire Diaries, Stefan Diaries, one of the origins. <laughs> Secret Circle, The Initiation and the Captive Part 1. Secret Circle, The Captive Part 2, and The Power. The Vampire Diaries, The Fury and Dark Reunion. Vampire Diaries, The Return, Volume 1, Nightfall. The Vampire Diaries, The Return, Volume 2, Shadow Souls. Vampire Diaries, Volume 3, The Return, Volume 3, Midnight. Dark Visions, a bind up of the books, which is The Strange Power, The Possessed, and The Passion. Night World, Volume 1, which has uh, three books in it as well, and it's spell Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness and Spellbinding. Night World Volume 2, which is, uh, has Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And Night World Number 3, which has The Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. All of those last books all by L.J. Smith. Beautiful Malice by Rebecca James. Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne. The Chain Letter Duology, which contains The Chain Letter and The Ancient Evil by Christopher Pike. Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. An Asylum by Madeline Rowe. The Mortal Instruments series. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and City of Lost Souls all by Cassandra Clare. Revolver by Marcus Sedgwick. Red Rising and The Golden Sun both by Pierce Brown, part of the Red Rising trilogy. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and The Mocking Jail by Suzanne Collin. The Host. The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Marr, which you guys know, Twilight, New Moon, Break, Clips, and Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Blue Tanner. Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker by E.L. James. The Physic Book of Deliverance Dain by Katherine Howe. In the Woods and The Likeness by Tana French. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. The Scarecrow by Michael Connolly. The Cypress House by Michael Corita. A Grown Up Kind of Pretty by Jocelyn Jackson. I, The Creation of a Serial Killer by Jack Olson. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stiegel Larson. Cemetery Girl by David Bell. The Story of Edgar Sotto by David Robloski. Dracula by Bram Stoker and illustrated by Jay Lee. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Winter's Tale by Mark Halprin. A Wolf at the Table, Running with Scissors, and Dry, all by Augustine Burroughs. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Blood Memory by Greg Isles. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. Dead Sleep by Greg Isles. Dead Before Dark by Wendy Corsi Staub. Deep Down by Karen Harper. A Concise Biography of Adult Hitler by Thomas Fudge. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. Web of Dreams. Olivia. And Dark Angel all by DC Andrews. The Vampire Diaries The Awakening. And The Vampire Diaries The Struggle both by L.J. Smith. Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Go Ask Alice and Jane's Journal Anonymous, but edited by Dr. Beatrice Sparks. Night World, The Ultimate Fan Guide by L.J. Smith. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. Dark Secrets, number one by Elizabeth Chandler. The first three books in the Kiss by an Angel series, which contains of Kiss by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. Ever Cross, Everlasting, and Ever After, the last book in the Ever Kiss by an Angel series, whatever you want to call it, by Kate Turner. Betwixt by Tara Bray Smith. 
the host by Stephanie Meyer. Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, and Beautiful Chaos, all of them by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Nightlight, a Twilight parody by the, what is it? Harvard Lampoon. Beastly by Alex Flynn. Switched, Torn, and The Sand, all by Amanda Hawking. Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, and Awaken, all by PC and Kristen Cast. So that is my bookshelf tour. Um, I'm very excited to see where I am at with my bookshelf at the end of 2015 to see just how many, you know, how I organize it, how many books I add, you know, just all that, all that fun stuff. What makes the final cut? What gets to stay on my bookshelf of all the books that I'm going to read this year? Because of course there's going to be some that I'm just like, I really don't care for. Goodbye. But it was really nice that I did that unhauling the other day and I've actually gotten rid of a couple more that I didn't actually unhaul. That was a couple weeks ago. So they're not all there, but I did get rid of about 20 or so. I'll put the final number up here of how many books I did actually have in this tour. And I'm just really excited to see where it all goes. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.